Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to reduce your file size. So first tip, click into your sheet and then use the keyboard shortcut control end. Now, if the cell that Excel selects is beyond the range of cells that you think you're using. So look, I think I'm using up to row 250,027, but it's actually selected right down here in row 1,048,576, the last row in the sheet, then this could be an opportunity for you to reduce your file size. Now, essentially it's doing that because you've got some data beyond the rows or columns that you think you're using. Now, when I say data, it may be just some formatting, but it's causing the file size to bloat. So we need to clear all the content and all the formatting in those unused rows. So what I'm going to do is go back to the top of my sheet, control home, and then I'm going to use control down arrow key to get to the bottom of the data set. Then I'm going to come down another row. So the first unused row, control shift down arrow key, control shift right arrow key, and that's going to select all the unused rows. And then on the home tab of my ribbon, I'm going to go to this clear button and then go to clear all. Now I might also want to do this for columns. So if I select the first unused column, then control shift right arrow key, control shift down, and then also clear those cells. Now you will need to close and reopen your spreadsheet to see any effect on the file size, but that may be worth attempting. Now the next tip relates to where you're using a pivot table. Now when you create a pivot table, it creates what's called the pivot cache, which is like an invisible copy of your data that sits in the background. Now this will bloat your file size, but you can actually stop Excel from storing the cache when you save your workbook. Now to do that, you need to click into your pivot table, go up to the Analyze tab on your ribbon, and then go to this Options button on the left here. Go to the Data tab, and what you want to do is untick this option, Save Source Data File, and then tick this option, Refresh Data when opening the file. So what's going to happen is, is that Excel will no longer store the pivot cache when you save the file, but it will regenerate it when you next open the file. Now, if you have images in your spreadsheet, these could be causing the file size to bloat. So what you can actually do is compress all the images in your workbook. So start by selecting one of the images, go up to the picture format tab on your ribbon, and you'll see an option here, compress pictures. Now you can get it to apply these compression settings to all images in your workbook by just unticking this option here. So the setting isn't only applied to the particular picture that you have selected. Now what you can do down here is choose a resolution for all the images in your workbook. So you can see here that the maximum resolution for this image is 220 PPI, but I could take it down to 150 PPI or 96 PPI. Now you will see a slight degradation in image quality the lower the resolution setting you select but let's go for this compromise here, 150 PPI, click on OK. Now the last thing you can do is actually save your Excel workbook with a different file type. If you go to File, Save a Copy, in this drop-down list of file types, you'll see an option for Excel Binary Workbook. Now this will reduce the file size of your workbook without affecting any of its functionality. So all you need to do is select that option and then click on save. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.